I want to congratulate both the union and the employer for reaching a tentative agreement. As is the normal practice, um, terms will not be disclosed pending ratification. Um, I also want to thank uh, Mayor Weinberger because he was very, very helpful in reaching the settlement. I'm right now going to turn it over to the um, chief negotiators for both sides to say whatever they want to say. Bob, okay. Okay. who's going to go first? Start. These last weeks have been tremendously difficult for our district community. We've learned a lot from this experience and are ready to move forward in a way that is collaborative, builds bridges, and heals old wounds. First and foremost, we learned a lot in this process, uh, and that in particular, talking face to face is how we can find common ground. We learned that we share much more than divides us. We know that all of us, the teachers, the BEA, the parents and community members on the board are committing to ensuring a quality education for all of Burlington's children. Essential to this is a school district that is inclusive and welcoming for all of us. Bob and I have talked a lot throughout the year and I've learned a lot. Uh, and in particular, it's become very clear to me that the school district has the benefit of teachers who care about their kids and go the extra mile to support them. And it is important that all of us are committed to closing the achievement gap for kids whose needs are not easily met by traditional models and resources that many of us inherited. Bob and I share that, and we had a great deal of experience this year talking about these issues and building some trust and, and relationship in this process. So I'll let Bob say a few words. Yeah, I would say that uh, this has been a, a, I look at the experience we had at City Hall Park on Sunday, um, this community has so much and so much to be thankful for with the voters and the, the approval of budgets and and I just think that if we can all come together, the mayor was really instrumental in, in bringing the two sides together, um, giving up family um, um, events um, to sit in the kitchen and have us uh, um, discuss our, our, our perspectives and our challenges that we see. We are on the front lines as teachers and we're committed to the kids in the class. And um, we look at Burlington, you know, Burlington has a rich history in education. Uh, if many of you know John Dewey, born in this city, educational philosopher, um, that's uh, that um, world round look to, the, to his writings and what, is, what he uh, represents for um, the future of education. I'm tired, I'll be candid with you, we're beat, I don't know, you know, uh, but I, I, I do believe we share a commitment to move forward and create the schools that best serve our kids. Let me just add a, a few more words. Um, hard times have left hard feelings, uh, but my talks with Bob have left me understanding that we're committing to work together towards a collaborative and cooperative relationship. This will require us to sit down and listen to each other so that the board understands the challenges that teachers face and the teachers help us understand how to integrate their expertise into a coordinated strategy uh, for achieving our mutual goals within our stewardship of community aspirations and financial parameters. There are a variety of models that can help us do this and Bob and I have begun to look at those. Bob has shared some examples with me. For my part, I will do everything I can to help start us on this path as soon as is feasible so that we move forward and not repeat the mistakes of the past and so that our school district reflects what is best about Burlington, that it is a, our creative, vibrant, and compassionate community. Thank you. So is this a school night? School's on tomorrow. Before I cut it off, I just want to give the mayor a chance. He got involved with this, I guess, last Wednesday at my invitation. He was very, very helpful throughout the process. Mayor, do you want to say anything? Well, I, I, do, I just want to say thank you to both sides for digging deep, finding the flexibility to really move and, and come together and get to this agreement tonight. Um, you know, I think we're very fortunate. I think everyone here agrees that we're very fortunate uh, and rare to be a city that still believes in its public education system. And we are, uh, we are that uh, because for generations we have had uh, teachers and uh, board members that are committed to this idea of Burlington, committed to making it work here. Uh, that was what was in question uh, over recent days and I'm hopeful that with this agreement we can now move forward and to have some 
exciting conversations about where our Burlington education goes from here. So thank you to everyone for making this happen. Does the union still need to ratify? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. It'll be Thursday, I believe. And so you're able to return to work tomorrow without the union having ratified this this preliminary agreement? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. I think the, the kids are too. That's very typical in labor relations practice when a strike is settled. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you guys all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There it is, guys. School tomorrow. We will um, update you with the details of the contract as we receive them.